had a brilliant idea that came to me in my sleep last night. I have these beautiful, long red Valentine roses. And it actually hurts me a little to see them dead and dying. I've been actually distressed over this. So I want to preserve the beautiful petals and the essence for as long as I can. I mean, it's, they smell amazing. Rose water. I want to make rose water. So, I've been doing some research online how to make rose water. I've never made this before. And every recipe I found, the rose water will only keep for two weeks. And I can add a preservative such as, they say, two tablespoons of witch hazel, two tablespoons of vodka, some citric acid, but still, it will only be temporary. It will only last for two months at the most. So that is not okay with me. I want to keep, I want to make witch hazel, I mean, I want to make um, rose water that will last longer because obviously I'm going to have a lot. So, I'm going to make, it came to me last night, it's so simple, rose water witch hazel, 100% witch hazel with rose petals steeped inside. It will pull out the essence of the rose, turn the uh, witch hazel pink, which is going to be beautiful, and... I'm hoping, since witch hazel doesn't go bad, that it will preserve the rose water for much, much longer, maybe indefinitely. So, and the water's yucky. <sighs> so that's my idea, and, oh. Rose water witch hazel is amazing, going to be amazing for your skin. It makes your skin beautiful. I know witch hazel does alone. Rose water does alone. So I'm going to combine the two for a beautiful product. And if I'm successful, I can offer this product. at my table, at my farmer's market table, and on my Etsy account, and my friends I will give away, and my family, like I always do, and I'll have a long supply for me and my girls, because my girls love witch hazel, so I know they're going to love this. Okay, so I got my... I'm so excited. I have so many beautiful, fragrant roses here.
how lucky am I? Thank you for these beautiful roses. chisel over these petals and I'm going to let them steep for maybe I don't know two weeks let's see I'm going to judge by the color of the witch hazel if it's a bright pink rosy I'll take them out sooner the soon when I want to see a nice color and a fragrance then I'll judge Witch hazel. So good for your skin. If you've never tried it, you should. <laughs> Don't buy the witch hazel in the store. You want to go to an organic witch hazel farmer. <laughs> Find one. They're out there. <laughs> 